In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your Alexa guard using SmartThings. Uh, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, check out the video description for all of the links that you will need for this video and the three simple steps to building the ultimate smart home. Now in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our Alexa guard set up with smart things so that when we leave the house and our alarm sets, the guard also sets, which is an extra layer of security. And as you can see on my phone here, what it will do is it will listen for smoke and CO alarms, glass breaks. And there's also two other things that it can do. Um, you can set it up with a security system if you have a compatible system. It only supports Ring and ADT. And then there's also a way lighting, which I found to be very annoying. Basically what it's supposed to do is turn on lights when you're away and it's dark outside to make it appear like there's someone home. But basically what that did is every time I came home at night, all of the lights would be on. Not just one, but like all of them. So what I'm gonna be doing on that is I'm gonna be creating my own away lighting using sharp tools and it will just be so much better and I'll have more control over what it's actually doing. We could easily automate Alexa Guard when Echo Speaks was in existence in SmartThings, but since that has gone away and we did get announcement that it will not be coming back, we have to find another way to automate our Alexa guard. It's very annoying to have to say I'm leaving home or I'm home when you come home to turn the guard on and off. We just want to have it automated so when we leave, it turns on. When we come home, it turns off. All right, so what we need to do is we need to log into our SmartThings account. Um, and where you do that is you go to account.smartthings.com slash login. And then you would just sign in with your Samsung account. All right, now once you are signed in, what you need to do is you need to add a device handler. Now I already have a video on how to add this and you know how to use it and everything. So I'm not going to go through all of those steps in this video, but I will leave a link to the other video in the video description. And what we're going to be using is the simulated Alexa switch. Um, and basically what this will do is it will create a switch that is also a contact sensor because currently in the Alexa app, if we go into routines and we tap a new routine and we use our smart home, the only things that show in this list are motion sensors and door sensors. Um, that's all that's gonna show here. They don't give you all of your devices to choose from. I don't understand why they would just limit it to these um, types of devices. But anyways, this Alexa simulated switch here is going to fix that because it's going to make the switch basically be an open and closed sensor at the same time. And basically what it's doing is when the switch is on, the contact op is open. And when the switch is off, the contact is closed. So you would have to get this from GitHub um, I'm going to leave a link to this as well in the video description. So I already have my device handler created. Um, check out that other video if you need to know all of those steps. Um, so what we're going to be doing is now just creating an Alexa Guard device in our smart thing. So what we need to do is go to My Devices. Now also, if you don't see your devices here, you may have to go to My Locations and just choose on your home location. So all we need to do here is go to the top and click on new device. All right, once we get new device, we just need to type in a name, Alexa Guard, and then the label is what it's gonna show in your SmartThings app. Type in a bunch of random numbers there. And then this is the most important part here is the type. So all of the special things that you add are gonna be at the very bottom of the list. So what you want to choose is your simulated Alexa switch and just choose your location and your hub. So we're going to go ahead and click create. And then you can see that it is now created at the top. All right, so we're basically done with the computer. And now we're basically going to be using our phone for the rest of these steps. All right, so now when we go into our devices, you can see that you do now have Alexa Guard and it's right at the top there. So now that we have this device, 
what we need to do is we need to go to the more at the bottom of the screen and then we need to go to routines right here all right so now we need to make two routines um, one is going to be when the guard is in the home state and that's when it's not doing anything and the other one is going to be in the away state when it's actually actively monitoring so we're just going to hit the plus sign here and let's enter a routine name and once you choose your name, just tap next. And when this happens, so we're gonna use our virtual switch that we made, and that's going to be the Alexa guard at the top. And this is going to be when it's closed. If you think about it, when a door is closed, um, nothing is active because it's closed. So when the guard is in the home state, nothing's going to be going on and the sensor will be closed. So we're going to tap next there. And then um, we're going to add an action. Now we want it to change to home. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go all the way to the bottom and we're going to type in a custom text. So what we're just going to type in here is I am home. All right, and then tap next. And then now you can see at the bottom there, it says your wake word, I am home and that will turn off the guard. And then you will be in the home state of the guard. And let's choose this device. So here, and then we just need to tap save. And right, now once that's saved, you can actually go into your Alexa guard home, tap on the three dots at the top and copy actions to new routine. Enter a routine name. All right, so I just did um, guard away, tap on next. All right, now when this happens, tap that, tap on smart home, tap on the guard at the top, and we want it to be open um, when we are away. And that will appear active, basically. So we're gonna tap next now. And then we just need to change the bottom action and just change it to I am leaving. Next. And this device is already set, so we're just, all we need to do is tap save now and routine created successfully. All right, so now we have guard away and guard home. All right, so I have moved my Alexa guard into my security section and you can see it is now closed. So if we turn it to be open or turn it on. Okay, I'll start guarding now. There is a little bit of a delay, but it did turn it to guard away. If we go back over to our smart things, tap it to be off. Okay, I'll stop guarding now. And now you can see it is set to home. A couple second delay, um, but it works. And that is exactly what we want. Now what you'd have to do now is you'd have to go in and your Alexa guard in your smart things. That's the only way that you'd want to trigger your guard. Um, you wouldn't want to use your voice or use the Alexa app because it will get out of sync. And what you'd want to do is add that to your automations now. So if you come up and you go to automations, I have a goodbye and I have a welcome home. So what you would want to do here, the scene that runs when I have goodbye and that's when everyone leaves the scene goodbye. So I'm going to have to go into scenes actually. So we're going to go over to scenes. Here is goodbye. Tap on that. So we're just going to click on edit, go down to the bottom and add an action, control a device, Alexa guard, save that. We're doing goodbye. So we want to actually have this to be on. Tap on save. Tap on done. And we also want to do the same thing for welcome home. So we're gonna tap on that one. Tap on edit, add an action, control the device, choose our guard, tap on save. And when we come home, we want it to be turned off. So that is correct. And we just tap on done and that is it. So now we have automations that run when everyone leaves or one person returns and that will automatically turn on the guard and turn off the guard. 
So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And I will see you in the next video.